We are here today um, with our Democracy Forward Seminar, where we bring together um, a lot of different change makers from around the world. And I'm very happy to have one of those change makers with us today. And um, could you um, introduce yourself? Thank you. Uh, so my name is Benefic Magaju. I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, and I'm based in Goma, which is the eastern part of the DRC. And the uh, close to the East, Af I mean, uh, Great Lakes region and East African country. So uh, I work with the Konrad Adenauer Seftang on the European Union and the uh, German uh, Ministry of Economic and Cooperation and Development, BMZ, peace building project which is implemented in Uganda, Tanzania, uh, DRC, Rwanda and Burundi where we're working with different youth initiatives which are working in different uh, fields like climate change, uh, uh, heritage, uh, democracy, but all of their actions there towards the consolidation of peace building in the Great Lakes region. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, Benefic, um, this is a seminar for and with global change makers, um, and you are definitely a change maker. Um, what would you say makes a good change maker? What have you? To, what What are the main characteristics you would say for a change maker? Uh, I think the main character I would say of a change maker is uh, that ability to see a problem in the society. A problem that is affecting many people and to think through like what is the solutions what is the best solutions that uh, can be applied or put in action to solve these issues that is going to affect as well as many people so uh, briefly that's what i would say yeah mm. and you all it, i mean it, it took you quite a while to get here right i mean it's not an easy <laughs> it's not an easy trip it's far um and still you came um and uh, you're spending time with us um, and putting into a lot of your own personal time and effort what made you decide to come all the way here to participate in the seminar huh. okay thank you so last i mean uh, this year there was an aspen uh, and there was an event in kigali where uh, so many of the aspen fellows they attended and I got invited as member of the Young and Emerging Leaders Project, which is a program founded by one of the Aspen Fellow, uh, Awel. So, and when I was there, I was just seeing all these Aspen Fellows, and then we had like this uh, different session in the breakout room, and I could just hear like, a lot of wisdom that were coming out out of those people. They were actually people of, of your age, so <laughs> like there were a lot of wisdom coming out of them. And I remember I told to Awel like. I would really love, like, when I'm, I'm getting your age, I would really be part of the Aspen. <laughs> so I just got nominated this, I'm still young, but I just got this lucky to join this network. And, uh, like, when I saw the nomination, and this is, like, you know, and I saw that it was it was targeting young people, I was like, ah, this is a very great opportunity that, you know, I couldn't miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm feeling slightly old. <laughs> Now, um, and what I also wanted to to, to ask you, um, when you become involved in um, in trying to improve our democracies, our societies, make them more future oriented, more resilient, uh, more inclusive, um, it sometimes can be an uphill struggle. So, what do you tell? Um, our friends who are listening out there, what would you tell them how to how to how to induce how to make change? Um, what would you advise them to do? Uh, what I would advise them to do is um, to always look beyond themselves, like when tackling uh, issues and problem. To always look beyond themselves and to look actually like the, what is going to benefit uh, the all overall population. The you know like as one of the texts that you've been uh, studying um, the, in the last seminar, and there is this line that was emphasizing about look beyond uh, like your own liberty and considering the 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 other 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 people around you and other people affected actually by what you're going to implement yeah so what i'll tell to them is that democracy is possible and it takes uh, inclusion of everyone in the in the uh, yeah in the 
this English word. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so in finding solutions for all, for all the people, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, last thing I wanted to ask you is, um, so this is a very diverse group um, of uh, young people coming from really um, all over the world. Is there something which you take home, like some lessons, something which you would integrate maybe also in your, into your work? Yeah, exactly. So as I just mentioned, like this, this, uh, you know, like not not finding solutions for yourself, even if you know something is better, but to always include other people. This either be in my work or in any other thing I'm doing. Like for example, I'm working with the global. I'm for the with the resilience lab. We are trying to bring in resilience to the forefront of the COP 28, and next year is going to be COP 29. So is this. Uh, Inclusivity of everyone when trying to find the solutions, just like they will be done with the simulations today. And then after that, like finding this consensus on what is the best solution, actually. Yeah. Thank you so very much, Benefic, for being here, taking part in the seminar and, um, and being so generous with your time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for inviting me and for hosting me for the interview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>